Hi, I'm Joshua Friedman, news editor at Rappaport, and welcome to the Rappaport Market Comment, thanks to our sponsor, Rapnet. This Sunday is Diwali, the Hindu festival of lights. As every year, that means the Indian diamond market will shut down for the holiday. But unlike most years, the closure of the industry is going to be long, probably several weeks long. Depending on the state of the market, the annual vacation varies every year. If demand is high relative to supply, factories will shut for just a week or two, as they did in 2020 when the market was recovering from COVID-19 lockdowns. If supply is high relative to demand, factories shut for a month or more. This year with the market week, manufacturers I've spoken to estimate the closures will be between one and two months. Some units won't open until mid-December, when India is scheduled to end its two-month voluntary freeze of rough imports. Of course, Diwali is awkwardly placed just before the US holiday season. It's not the best time for the dominant supplier of polished diamonds to be taking a break. On the manufacturing side, that doesn't matter so much at the moment. The industry has been battling an oversupply for months because of weak sales in the US and China. The world probably has enough diamonds. Also, with the import pause in place, there's a dwindling supply of rough available for the factories to work with. But on the sales side, there's still work to do. American jewelers have started placing their holiday orders. The sales offices in Mumbai traditionally take shorter vacations than the factories. This year, they'll be shut for one to two weeks. The other effect of Diwali is on the domestic Indian sales. The country's jewelry market has been one of the anomalies this year while other big markets have been slow, and this appears to be continuing. Titan Company reported a 37% year-on-year increase in sales during the three months that ended September the 30th. Some important days for jewellery buying are coming up, and expectations for the wedding season, which starts around Diwali, are positive. As for diamond manufacturers, the big question is whether they will return from their vacation to a better global market. This depends, among other factors, on the competition with lab-grown diamonds. On the supply side, will a month or two of no polished production help the industry recover? Will dealers find they don't have enough goods to meet future demand? Let us know your predictions in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe to get every new one we make on a weekly basis discussing trends and analysis in the diamond industry. This video is brought to you by Rapnet, the world's largest and most trusted diamond trading network. If you buy and sell diamonds, Rapnet is the right solution for you. Find out more at rapnet.com. Wishing everyone a happy and peaceful week ahead.